Welcome to the LeapFrog BI Academy video series on dimensional modeling. In this video, we're going to be introducing facts and dimensions. We actually already mentioned facts and dimensions in an earlier video when we said that a dimensional model, or one of the attributes of a dimensional model, is that it contains conformed dimensions and facts. But we never did define dimensions and facts. So let's do that now, starting out with the fact table. So a fact table is a table in the database that contains measurements. Each record is a different measurement. And the granularity of that measurement is defined by related dimensions, which we'll talk about in a moment. Usually these measurements are additive, something like sales, where I can sum them up across multiple records, but not always. Sometimes they're semi-additive, meaning they're additive across only a subset of dimensions. Fact tables are used to resolve many-to-many -many relationships. So let's take a look at a sample fact table and see what this all means. Okay, so let's look at this first record. We can see that this record has five fields. The first three are pointers to records in related dimensions, dates, location, and product. And the final two are actual measurements, numeric values, quantity and amount. So this record represents the quantity of sales only across a particular product within a particular location and on a particular date. Again, the granularity of that record is based on the related dimensions. So here I have three dimensions, date, location, and product. So every record is at that grain. That's a founding principle of a fact table. Every record should be at the same grain. Alright, so now we know what a fact table is. Let's move on to a dimension. First of all, a dimension again is it's a table. This time it's going to contain business elements. The fields in this table will include descriptions of those elements or attributes. This dimension is commonly going to be referenced by many fact tables. Uh, say a date dimension, for example. The date dimension is going to be used in nearly every fact table that we create. Any codes that were uh, collected from the source system are going to be transposed into something that's more readable by, uh, let's say, a business analyst. So we're going to use business terms. So taking a quick look at a dimension, sample dimension, here we have a, a, um, the first field being just a primary key that's generated within the data warehouse. It's an identity. The second is an ID that is collected from the source system. It's a business key. We'll be talking about this more in later videos. And then we have a few attributes. We have the name, size, and color of each um, uh, uh, record in this dimension. So now that we know a little bit about a fact table and a dimension, we can actually take our first look at a dimensional model. In the center we have our fact table and around the outside we have our dimensions. It's a very uh, commonly called a star schema. It's a very simple one, but ne nevertheless it is a uh, star schema. You can see how we have foreign keys in our fact tables pointing to date and our, our uh, primary key in the date dimension foreign key locations pointing to the primary key in the location dimension and foreign key product pointing to the primary key in the product dimension. So it's pretty intuitive here. You can see how we could easily filter out facts for say only a particular year in our date dimension and we could sum across amount to get total sales per year. Or we may want to look at a particular color product. Same thing could be done. Or region. Or a combination. We could easily pull out all sales for a particular year, for a particular size product, only within a particular district. This is the slicing and dicing that uh, dimensional modeling makes uh, very simple. Okay, so that's a quick introduction to dimensions and facts. Thank you for joining me in this video. We'll see you in the next video.